Hello and welcome back to Court Farm. Right, we are essentially continuing right from where we left off at the end of the last episode. So we do have the helper continuing on to drill the field here to my right. Well, the field I'm in, but to my right over there. And uh, I will get at least one headland done uh, for the rolling so that we can set a helper off again and uh, let them crack on while we move on to the other fields. Because really, as I've said, this is... We're getting to the nitty-gritty stages of this series. And uh, I think we're at episode... This will be episode 52 now. So I think with all in mind, I think we will hit 55 uh, with ease. Yeah, I, I don't want to rush it. And uh, possibly these episodes have been a bit shorter than usual. Uh, but it's fine because we are getting everything we need done in a nice timely manner without rushing of course right so we'll just get spun round and have a look at how the help is getting on we do still have a fairly large field to my left and of course the field straight in front as well uh, which we need to get done as well as the two small fields on the side now whether or not we get it all done in March remains to be seen but uh, it is a, a load of drilling and really there's not much else on that we have to do. So I really don't know if we're going to be doing a load of time. I don't want to overdo time lapses with drilling and rolling and that, but we might do a nice mix of the two over the course of this episode. That way, episode 53, the next one, because I'm certain this is 52, yeah. Uh, the next one will be focused on maintaining the crops as well. That will be the fertilizing and any weeding that needs to be done because most likely there will be lo loads of weeds in um, if I remember correctly. I know sometimes that we don't get weeds and sometimes we do. I really don't know what dictates that but we are doing a direct drilling so in theory it shouldn't be but it might just be soybeans and not field beans. Anyways we are going to crack on. Let's get to the end here though. We are nearly there. See how the helper... See sometimes that tapered edge bothers the helper and sometimes it's absolutely fine so I don't really know what the uh, what the crack is there um, you know what let's do let's do another let's do another headland but we will break off into a rolling time lapse here might as well get the headland done and then we'll go up and down a bit and uh, once that's done we can at least move on to drilling the field next to us Alright, so I'll set the helper on here on the Ford with the roller, as I feel that's enough rolling for now. The helper here is getting on really well, and I have decided to do something a bit different. So, I was talking about all the kit that I have here to sell, but if you look at this, we've got mower, we've got, we've got the row, we've got the baler, we've got everything we need to do one more bit of silage for the cows. Yes, I know, I know, I go back on what I've said, but look, if we just keep feeding them, if we do some more silage, then that will that will provide them enough food, hopefully for a few more months. That's the hot that's the hope at least. But the big thing is is there a contract? So let's put details on and let's look straight at the map and see. So we've got Oh my. Maybe it's a bit early for all that. I was going to sell... Oh yeah, it's all fertilization contracts. Hmm. Right, well, I, I don't really care to do one of them. Um, I, wa I was planning on doing a bailing contract, so I'm a little surprised that there is nothing available. It's all fertilizing and weeding. What? Negative money? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? That's silly. Anyways, are any of these worth doing though? 52, that's quite a big field. 
but really though, I mean, it's not, it's not really. Yeah, we've got lo. You know what? No, we've got loads of fertilizing to do. I'm wondering if they will come in. In the next month, I know it's not summertime or anything. It's March, but I just I don't want to sell all this kit before we could possibly use it. Uh, hmm. I should have probably checked contracts before I got all excited about it, but I mean, we have everything here, so it would be silly uh, not to. I don't know, per chance, if it makes sense to buy a field and do a do a silage run on. If there is anything grass-wise... Hmm. So there is 107. That's massive, though. We don't really want to do anything that big. 106 is there as well. It's right next to the bakery. That's something we could do. But, I mean, to buy a field, I'd rather do the contract, to be honest. Plus, I mean, yeah, it's not great either, is it? Hmm. What was the other one there? Oh yes, 86. But I'm pretty certain that that's not grass, is it? It's meant to be like a, uh, it's a, it's, f yeah. Hmm, it's a, a pasture. There we go. Right, these are all rubbish fields with silty clay. I really don't know then. I had, I had, here, let's go to the bakery and, oh my. Yeah, it's still filling up. I can't get out, can't get out. So what, would we come in this way then? What's this field? Oh, this is 107. Ah, right. So 106 is hidden behind the hedge here. Tucked away. I mean, we could, we could. Um, but as you can see, it is ready to harvest. But it's in forage stage, so we'd want to wait another month anyway. So maybe that plan is not all it's cracked up to be, unfortunately. Um, just because we don't really have the means to do it. But let's see, how is everyone getting on here? Actually, this has just about finished. I suppose we could do this very last bit ourselves. And we are fine with seed as well. I thought we would need some by now, but we are doing really well without needing more. Okay, we'll try and get these little bits here. Oh, there are a few small bits, but nothing major. Okay, I'm going to get these taken care of off camera, and then we can move into the next field. Alright, so what I've decided to do instead is, instead of doing the other field down there, and I, I do want to get all these done as soon as I can, but I'm going to just wait until we get into April in the hopes that there is a silage contract that we can do. It doesn't matter what it is or where it is, as long as we can do it, so that we can get a bit of extra silage for the cows before they are all out of food. The reason I'm doing this field is so that we might as well get a couple of them done, but I want to save that other big one for having helpers on it, because it is nice and sort of a long, more narrow field, whereas these small ones are a bit more, well, less so, of course. So I think that is what I will do, and then any sort of rolling that needs to get done can quickly be done off camera as well, because we, we did quite a bit of rolling, and again, it's not the most exciting job to watch and we are doing so many fields we are doing all the, all of them the same as well so yes that is something we will we will do we'll finish this this field and uh, hopefully by the time that we are done then we can uh, move on to rolling this one as well because it is very small I mean it'll take me just a matter of moments to get uh, to get drilled uh, so we might just do this very quickly and then we can move on to rolling it as well. simple as that so I think this is going to be for the best because now when it comes time to harvest we have well we've got one two big fields and one small field and then on day two of harvest we'll have two big fields and one small field so it works out really really well that way fantastic right now where is the helper gone here 
Hey, cracking on really well. Really, really well. A couple of misbits there, but we can uh, tidy that up after. I think one thing I will do, though, since we have the Renault available, is I will connect to the Abbey trailer here, because uh, we might as well get all the slurry that we can into the BGA to process and to sell. That is the nice thing as well about having the, uh, the cows still, is that we are making money from them, from their poop. Isn't that mental? Absolute mental. We did put all the straw in. Um, to the BGA instead of instead of converting it to manure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So that is good. We don't have to fret on that. Oh my! Whoops. We don't have to fret on putting straw in. Uh, but it is nice that we have the option to bring all of this uh, slurry over to the BGA. So that is what we will do. I don't know if it'll. Oh wow! It's emptying quite nicely. Is it going to be all of it? I don't know how much there is. All ah, right. Okay. Well, we can come back for the rest as well. Another thing that I might do, just to have it ready, is to load up all of the wool pallets. Now that the sheep are gone, we can easily get all the wool sorted and uh, probably just get it on the flatbed of the of the lorry and wait for the best price. Because I can't see us needing the flatbed for anything else. Bread is not until, I want to say in the winter, but I'll have to double check. Here, we'll get this unloading so it unloads very slowly. And let's have a look. Right, so bread is in fact January and that's fine. We've got loads of flour. I think we're all done with flour as well. Yeah, so we are all done with that. So we'll be able to sell the mill and we'll be able to right we'll get all this slurry in and then yeah bread okay so that's fine i i enjoyed that we had a, a just a handful of of little productions we didn't go crazy on the productions cuz as much as i like them there is quite a bit of faff with the uh with the pallets and that which is why i'm really pleased with the way i've decided to do it on zelonka with all that bloody soup and all the eventual other products we'll get um, and having the uh, auto load flatbed because as much as I do like loading pallets it can it can get tedious and a bit of a faff after a while so I like to start with it at least doing what I can but yeah I don't know I'd much rather focus on uh, yes yeah, selling you know milk from cows or I mean even the wool from the sheep there's pallets there as well but oh nearly exactly 10,000 liters Right, so we'll get this brought over there as well. This process is so quickly, so rapid. Um, and it processes into methane, digestate, and electric charge, which we haven't used. That was something I wanted to do as well, is have an electric uh, tractor. Maybe in the future I'll try and run a fully electric system. That would be pretty cool. But there are only so many electric tractors available, and they're not overly powerful, so it would have to be a very small operation but one we could do nonetheless right so we'll let that finish up this we should really get ready because we will do some pallet loading with it um, and then bale wise I would like to look at a contract potentially that might be okay we can excuse me bucket oh what have I done what is going on just put that random oh. <laughs> I've forgotten how to drive the telehandler. There we are. And I think, yes, they are right there. Perfect. So yeah, we'll just do a few little odd jobs here and there. Um, as I say, there are things we have to do in the uh, next month. Or, yeah, in the next month we'll have to do weeds and fertilizing and such. But uh, we can also hopefully get a silage contract in. If it doesn't happen, that's not the end of the world. At least we know that the cows have been well cared for for the time they've been here. And uh, they will be well cared for moving on to their new homes as well. Speaking of pallets and loading, uh, this is what we're going to be doing right now. I will go over to the lorry. And get that. So if the helper finishes in the, in the field before we are done, then... Um, then I think we will put it onto the other field 
just to get that started as well and then I can do all the remaining bits off camera nice and easy and this lorry has been an absolute champion of this series I have to admit I'm very pleased with it very very pleased with all the attachments and that um, I think it's perfect for this farm absolutely perfect would be better if it was right hand drive but that is absolutely fine that's more for the roleplay aspect but as I said it is an import from Germany so let's get spun around here find the best way to do this um, yes maybe like this would be the best way there we go let's have a look at the helper ah nearly done you know what let's just now put it onto the other field so that we can uh, yeah come back here and get this done later so I'll just get this set up on the other field and then we can load some pallets alright well, as you can see we've got a couple of pallets on there already and uh, yeah it's really coming along now the way that I've stacked these has made it very easy to actually just get as many as possible I can usually do four without much issue didn't say no issue, just without much. Yeah, as long as we avoid... Ah, beautiful. That's worked out really nicely. Right, so we do have the rolling underway, and we only have a few pallets here to load, but we might as well stick it into a nice little time-lapse. Alright, there we go. All of our wool pallets are on. We'll just get this parked here, get them nice and fully strapped in. We've got 21,677 litres of wool pallets. They are a bit... they were a bit jiggly, but they seem to be fine now. So that's really good. We'll get that shut. We can leave that there for the time being. We will head over here and see how the helper's getting on. Ah, oh, they're not. I did not see that notification of being stuck, so that's fine. Uh, should have really done the bottom here myself, but that's what you get, I guess, for trying to trust a helper. Right, well, what I think I'll do is I'll get this done off camera. I'll probably go and finish up the other field first just to have it done so I don't forget to go back. And... Um, yeah, that should be good. So I will get at least the other field done off camera and then we can move on and get this one done as well. Alright, well here we are back in the small field just getting the helper to finish up the rolling which is really appreciated. Thank you mate. So we'll let him crack on with that but we have got the other field fully rolled as you can see. 39, 33 and eventually here 31 will be... oh he's missed a bit there. Uh, will be fully rolled and then in the next episode we'll be able to drill 32 and then this one and this one as well. Just get it all done. Uh, very pleased about that, about the progress as well. Um, as far as the cows go, if we can find a silage contract in the next month in April then that would be the best option because um, that's what we'll do is we'll after this rolling is complete we'll move on to April and then we can at least get helpers set up on the drilling and on the rolling as well in the three remaining fields we have and then hopefully we can do the silage contract get a bit of extra silage for the cows before they run out of food and before we sell them on to their new home but that does do us for this episode. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel. And please subscribe. So until the next one, please do take care. And bye for now.